Hayley and Alexis have been told that they're grounded. Who's in the pool? Is that Alexis? Mm-hmm. But you're, you're not allowed in. She's told you to stay out, Mum has. What kind of message does that send to the rest of the kids when one parent disciplines one and not the other? Mum, can I just ask you something, Lisa? Why Hayley's here? We had an issue with her mouth, so I grounded her forever from the pool. Grounding Hayley from the pool forever. I mean, that's an empty threat that Mum's never going to carry through. The kids are never going to take her seriously. You just ground them for a few days, not forever. I've got another one out there that is not supposed to be in the pool, and she's not listening to me, so I'm going to wait on Daddy when he comes home to see if he can get her out. Alexis is out of control, and Mum feels that she can't even deal with her, so she doesn't bother to attempt anything. These kids are realising that actually their mum doesn't care, that she doesn't have anything to say. She's not worried about what I do. I can come and go as I please. I want to discuss Hayley and your relationship with Hayley, Lisa. OK. One that's very unfair. Numerous amounts of times yesterday, I watched you put chores onto Hayley that neither the other children had. It was, Hayley, do this. Hayley, do that. What are you doing lounging? Because she's the one that causes most of the problems. Your other children were playing up and misbehaving, and yet nothing was done with them. Well, we've got a lot of major issues with her. Just because she shows you the capacity to take what you put on her shoulders, it doesn't mean that she deserves to be treated like that. I'm done talking about that right now. Well, I'm not done by far about talking about it. I see a detachment with you and Hayley that's really unhealthy. And the way you're treating her is wrong. Yesterday, when it came to Alexis and Hayley being in trouble, there was Hayley inside the house whilst Alexis was out in the poolside. I couldn't get her out of the pool. I mean, what do you want me to do? Jump in and yeah. grab her out? Yeah. The fact is, is that you're lazy and you don't do nothing about it. We can't get them to do what, what we ask them to do. Who's going to change that? Unless you guys do. But what I'm not seeing from the pair of you is a willingness to take responsibility for what's happened here. Instead, you want to go, well, that's how it is. We've got six kids, you know? We just don't know how to do it. Take responsibility for it. I now have to close the gap between Hayley and Mum. There's been a lot of resentment built up, you know, over the years with Hayley, and I think it's time, as we are starting everything fresh, to really make amends with Hayley. Talk to her, mother to daughter, about how you want to be able to really have a relationship with her. And I think she needs to know that you love her and that you care about her a lot. And I'm going to suggest that after you've had that conversation, we go off and, and take Hayley and yourself bowling. OK. Just you and her, you know? Create some new history. When I faced Haley, it was kind of hard because we haven't really connected and talked about things. We're going to go out, and it's just going to be you and me, and we're going to get to go bowling. It's just going to be you and I. It was so important for her to go into Haley's bedroom and to talk to her daughter, but everything was prompted. Lisa did nothing impulsively from her heart. So. It's really great that we've spoke about how much fun we're going to have together, but we've missed the emotion. Missed the emotion? I think you need to talk about your relationship. Um, there's any issues with anything, I want you to know that you can always come to me. Why? Why can she come to you? Because I'm her mom, and she can depend on me and trust me to help her. If you can't be open with your daughter, we can't bridge the gap between you and Haley. So what are you going to do to change so that you can have a better relationship with Haley? The yelling's been um, more directed to you. From now on, it's not going to be screaming. It's just going to be talking to you and telling you the things that you're doing wrong. But make sure you always know that you can come to me. I think you should give each other a big squeeze, huh? <laughs> yeah, a big hug. Lean over. What's this? Hold your daughter and your mum, huh? I'm 
Joe had mom hug me. It made me feel like I have my family back. I don't remember the last time mom hugged me. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it sucks and, and shoes. She's still very alienated from the family and won't allow herself to get close to her children at all. You cut yourself off from receiving your kids' love. So every time you get close, it makes you emotional. I have just have to hug each other and fill each other's love. It's a beautiful thing, OK? I want you to do that at bowling, all right? Lots of hugs and kisses, OK? Let's connect physically, all right, and emotionally with our children. OK. See you later. right now <laughs> but know. you know what you've got to be able to do it you know what I mean you got to connect with her when I approached Lisa about being more tactile with Hayley she couldn't really bring herself to do that two left almost so she's still very detached and removed from her children that's very worrying for me because the children do need to receive a lot more than what Lisa's willing to give right now good girl Are you 